Good morning, Pigeon World and YouTube. This is Greg back here again from GVJ Lost. Doing my second video of the year. These are the white races. First time out. They're all wet. That's why they, they can't really fly right now. But some of them are strong enough where, where they're flown up to the top of the coop. And one actually flew on top of the house. And that's why I wet them down. Because if not, lose a lot of them. They're very, very strong. But I'll give you an update on how they do. In the meantime, let me show you how they got all wet. I use Adam's dog shampoo, flea and tick. Put it in a bucket of water. And then I slowly dip them in, leaving the head above the water, of course and I swing them back and forth for about 30 rotations so they get nice and soaking wet. That takes off the white powder that's in their down, in their feathers, and causes them not to be able to fly till it's completely dry, which takes about an hour, an hour and a half. In the meantime, they're out there, they're looking around, they're getting familiar with the area. And usually they don't fly up there on top or on top of the house like this one did. In fact, there he goes, he's flying. Eh, he just landed, I think, on the other coop on the floor. And, uh, but these guys are very strong. They gave me a hard time when I was putting them in to hold them. Their wings are very, very strong. So we'll see how they do. I'll give you another update in a little while. Okay, update. It's been an hour into their training. I have five up there now, including the one that was on the roof. She came back down. And these are still quite content on staying right where they are. But within the next hour, they'll start Flapping up there too. These are the five bold ones. I'll keep you updated. Okay, while we're waiting, these guys are getting all jumpy, going all over the place, going down, up. There it goes again. These guys are still just looking. A little bit of info what equipment you need when you do this. Chair, towel, off, coffee, oh, sunglasses. Very important. Get back to you again. Okay, update. We're two hours into training. We have still two, four, six, eight, three, six, no, nine. We still have nine on there. And uh, one took off flying and she's been flying back and forth back and forth back and forth but she flies so fast I'm pretty sure she sees the coop but she's flying so fast that she doesn't even have time to slow down on land so, so but eventually she'll get tired 
and come back. We also had three other ones that started flying. Actually did a couple of circles, but they landed on the house and now they're back down here. So I got one MIA, MIA and the rest are starting to flap around again. So we'll see. I don't think I'm gonna lose that one that's flying around. The only problem I have with that is that she's basically advertising for the hawk. Here I am, and that's not a good thing. But comes with the territory. Anybody who flies and trains pigeons knows that when you first take them out, this is the day that your heart starts pumping. I'll be back with an update. This is a quick update. Two hours and 15 minutes into the training. Now they're all off the landing board. They're either up on the coop, on the loft, and then down here. Uh, a couple of them took off flying. One came back. Another one is up on the tree here and I'm still missing that first one. That's still MIA, kind of, sort of. But she keeps flying back and forth. So we'll see. That was my quick update. Okay, update. This is where I start to panic. Uh, not really. Uh, it's three hours into training. Some of them took off again. Missing five. Ten are down. So missing five out of 15. So it's three hours, so. Now I'm gonna open up the coop and just let them start going in one at a time. And hopefully the other ones come back. If not, oh well. We'll see. Before I start bringing them in, I just want to show you guys update on the coop. Put these sort of boxes On the left and the right. Some of them seem to like that one better. And I still have these in the middle, the back. And I left two feet underneath on the bottom because they don't like to push low when they go to sleep anyway. That's the update of the coop. Okay, this is the next day, and I didn't take them out this morning. Still missing five. Uh, that's the way it goes. They might come back, they might not. Usually if they get lost and they're smart enough, they'll start trickling back one, two, three, even four days later. They happen to fly over the coop, they see it, boom, they come down. But uh, right now, missing five. And these are the ones that were smart enough not to get lost. Actually, the truth of that matter of fact is, the five that are missing were the older ones which of course have stronger wings. And I think that was a big factor. They were like almost three months older than these. And that was kind of a no-no. But we'll see. This is Greg from GVJ Lofts. 
Uh, just remember guys, keep them flying.